good, what's good? It's your boy, Drama House A Game Entertainment. You already know Battle Rap's old head coon game, bringing you the latest on the suckers and the sucker shit that's going on. It's really good, you dig? <laughs> Told y'all, I'm back in my bag, man. I'm back in my bag, man. Hood stories at all, man. Hey, day. Hey, day, you getting something. One, two, three. When my shit get all the way back, right? It's gonna be like two or three days. That's what y'all get. You understand me? Fuck with your boy, man. I'm back, man. Fuck with your boy, man. I'ma change it all up, man. I'm back to Dark Man 748, too, man. Still Drama House and Coon Gang. You understand me? But it is what it is, man. So check it out. Remember, I told y'all about my little brother in my own hood story called, um, who can't you trust, right? He was talking about our cousin was stealing from him and shit. He was just a little nigga. I'm like, nigga, he ain't stealing nothing from you, nigga. But let me tell you how much of a fool my little brother is, man. Oh, yeah. We sponsored by Edison. You already know. I'm gonna need that check too, y'all. But let's get into this right quick, man. Check it out. My little brother, right? This nigga, like, he, he probably about. He's some years younger than me, you understand me? He's some years, so when I was grown, he was still a teenager, you understand me? So, uh, we out there selling dope, right? You know what I'm saying? He sell dope with me, and we sell dope in front of our building. You understand me? On this strip, we selling dope in front of our building. So, um, vice come down. Shoot, shoot down on us. We start walking inside the building, right? You understand me? They follow us in that bitch. So I guess they paint, they peeped us. So it was me, my little brother, and my mans, right? So then be little brother. While we while we standing in the hallway trying to get in the house, them bitches come right up in there like nobody move or whatever. So boom, they got us um, you know, hands up and shit or whatever. They tell us to take everything out of our pockets. My little brother in my ear, like, I got that rock in my pocket. Like what? He got a big ass, like 40 piece in his pocket or some shit like that. It's like 30 something. It's a big rock though in his pocket. And he got like $600 in $600 in his pocket. I got like $1,500 in my pocket. And this look like some new money. You feel me? It ain't all, all, you know, it look like new money, but it's dope money. So they throw all that shit on the floor. My man, see, we brothers, so they, they put us together and had, had my man's right here on the side of us. But I don't think he had no bread in his pocket. You understand me? And uh, but he get he get busy on the block. So they got us all in there. They searching us or whatever. They're like, why y'all walk up in the building? Like, man, I, we live here, man. We was just coming. We was about to go in the house. So they not even own me and my man's because we grown. They on my little brother hard than a motherfucker. They like talking shit to this nigga. Like, who the fuck you, who, who the fuck you um, doing out here? You know, this a drug infested um, block. He's like, I live here. He's like, man, he's like, what you doing with all that money? You sell dope? He was like, why you got all that money? And look, I swear to God to y'all, this is exactly how it happened. This is how exactly how it happened. The nigga was like, um, he was like, vice dudes, like, where you get all that money from? And before my little brother can get out, to say my mother gave it to him, gave it to me. The nigga took his fist and balled it up and flinched like he was about to punch the nigga in the face. It's like nigga, I, I dare you to say that whole ass shit to me, nigga. I dare you. And at the time, my mom's and them was coming in the house with the groceries with my sister and them. And she was like, oh, what's going on? And they told her what it was. And they seen all the money on the floor or whatever. And they, and they ain't had nothing on us. And, and they searched my little brother. They, they ain't get that rock that was in his pocket. And they was hawking that nigga. If they wouldn't have been hawking him, they probably would have found that rock in his uh, motherfucking shirt pocket. So um, when they going into the house with the groceries, he told it, he told my mother some shit like, you know, this dude right here is such and such about my brother. And then they was like, um, because they were still holding us. So they was like, you want your mother to take your money in the, in the house? And why we both say no at the same time. And the vice was like, damn, y'all don't trust your mother. Y'all don't trust your family. And we was like, no, it ain't like that. We just was like, the money mixed up. We don't know, you know what I'm saying? So they still let them take it, right? Let us go. Why when we get in the house, the money ain't right? The money ain't right, man. 
the money ain't right. We already knew what was going to happen. My sister was right there. Man, why my sister and her boyfriend go to the movies? Why my sister and her boyfriend go to the movies and kick it? Uh, right? Like I'm talking about the same day. It was nighttime when the shit happened. They went to the motherfucking movies. They booked us. They booked us. It was cool though. We ain't going to jail, but they booked us. But my little brother, silly ass, always like same look, same block, right? We standing out. I got a nine on me. I got my red rag wrapped around a nine. And my little brother got this um carbine assault rifle with the um my tech 22. I could take this clip out of my tech 22 and put it in this bitch. This bitch like <laughs> This bitch, this bitch was raw, but it was, and it used to break down. The bitch break down into like an umbrella. Like, I'm telling you, man, it's, I got it from my mom's and shit. You know what I'm saying? She showed me like 75, because she was like, she ain't want it no more. It's crazy, B, yup. That shit was crazy. I love that gun, man, because you can fit the Tech 22 clip in that bitch and shoot the 30 out. You feel me? Shoot 30, because the bitch only took six bullets in the clip. You feel me? And, um... So we standing there talking, talking shit. You know, we on the block. I got the, I got a um, nine. He got the um, 20, 22 assault rifle. And look, he got it towards like, you know how you hold it down like this. Why, why we talking and looking at each other eye to eye? The gun go off. The gun go off. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I start feeling for myself to see if I'm shot. I'm right here on this in front of him. This nigga got the gun. This nigga, I'm talking about this nigga so crazy. Look, man, I'm looking at the nigga in his face while I'm talking in the gun. Like, this nigga just pulled the trigger. Like, like he was in his mind, like, I wonder what happened if I just play with the trigger. You know how a young nigga think, like, it ain't gonna go off and then try to see how far you could play with it and the bitch go off? I'm like, man, what the fuck wrong with you, bruh? You tripping? I'm like, what the fuck you doing? The nigga... I don't even know what the fuck the nigga said, man. Real talk, I be fucking with that nigga to this day about this shit, man. That's another thing this nigga did. Check it out. So, I'm I'm pushing the weed game or whatever. I'm pushing the weed. We're on another block now. It's another drug investor block. We, I'm, I'm selling the weed. He got the weed or whatever. So, I'm down there. I'm like, I'm down at the house with him. He just bought um, about three, four ounces, right? It's Reggie days. It's the Reggie days. So, he bagging it up. All hollers. He bagging it up in all hollers. So, I say, hey, look, I'm about to run to the store and get a swisher. I say, my nigga, don't go out here flossing with all this motherfucking weed, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just take you a few bags out and, 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 and bang them like that, my nigga. All right? He like, all right, nigga, you know I know better than that shit, nigga, such and such, such and such. I get down to the store, right? My man's in the store who be out there hustling with us. So we in the store talking shit, right? We in the store talking shit with our Arabs because the Arabs grew up with us so we can hang out in the store or whatever. So, you know, you go to the store, you talking shit or whatever. Before you, you might be in that bitch an hour, half an hour before you even come out that bitch. So why five minutes later when I'm in the store talking shit to my nigga, my brother walk in the store. I'm like, what's up? I'm like, why you come to the store? He like... I, don't, he, I guess he said he was going to try to bang a couple of the hollers he had in his hand or whatever. Because he was too young and he thirsty to get out here with the shit. Why, after he walked in the store, Vice, no, not Vice, Black and White walk in the store. Black and White walk in the store. So, they like, what y'all doing in here? I'm like, I'm buying something. Everybody, they buying something. It's a store. My man's be hanging out in the store, hitting licks outside the store, coming back in, kicking it. So really, he hot. They really just, they really on him. But they say, fuck it. Y'all, everybody, um, you know, line up. We in the store lined up. I know I ain't got shit, but I got a warrant. But I ain't worried about that. Nobody got nothing on him. So they get to my brother, and he's searching him. And I'm, and, and, and I'm like, my brother, he cool. We probably got up two bags or something on him or whatever. Why when the police grab for his, like, for his dick area, he start, like, squeezing the nigga dick? He like, damn, that's all you? That's what the police said. Pause. Damn, that's all you? My little brother like, yeah, yeah. Why the police going my brother pants? 
and pull out two motherfucking ounces of weed. Two ounces of weed, bro. I say, my nigga, oh my God, what the fuck I just tell you or whatever. So my nigga, they take us, put us in the car because I got a warrant. They running names now. I'm like, damn, I got a warrant. My nigga on the side keep yelling, man, just take us somewhere and beat our ass and let us go. I'm looking at this nigga like, my nigga, you got the game fucked up. Shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? You feel me? Ain't nigga ain't doing shit to me. You understand me? That's what, cause he, he don't, he want, he want to get the fuck up out of there. You feel me? That's, he like, nigga, just beat my ass somewhere and, 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 and let me go. You understand me? They wasn't on that shit either. They wasn't on that shit. They took me and my brother. I'm mad as fuck at my brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm salty as fuck. I'm like, bro, you got us in some dumb shit, my nigga. Or, but why, I'm saying, why did you have to bring that shit though? Like, to the corner store, you just wanted to floss that shit, my nigga. And look. That's, that's, that's another thing that my brother, I'm looking on this piece of paper just to remember every fucking thing that this nigga did, man. You understand me? So, okay, um, what's that say? Oh, gunshots, um, okay, look, we on the same block, right, where the police had, um, where the nigga had shot in the ground and the police had us in our hallway, right? So, um, this nigga selling dope. He out there on the block by himself, and I told him that don't really be out there on the block by yourself. You know how this bitch get, you understand me? This bitch jumping, you know how scandalous this bitch is. Ain't no houses on this bitch really or nothing, but a couple apartment buildings and spaces. So why this nigga on the block, a van pull up, tell this nigga he, they want 50, cause that's how the block rock or whatever. Cause he been hustling, he been getting his bread. I'm gonna tell you another part of the story too. Why this nigga get in the van? Why this nigga get in the van? Nigga from the back put a pistol in his head and they kidnapped this nigga. They kidnapped this nigga, y'all. This nigga got inside of a van for a 50 and they kidnapped the nigga, man. Luckily, something happened and they let the nigga go, man. He told me a story. With, he told me some story. I don't know if he lying or not, but I know for a fact that this nigga got kidnapped, man. We looking for this nigga, man. They didn't let this nigga out way somewhere else and told a nigga to walk, man. They was gonna kill a nigga, he said. You feel me? I'm like, bruh, this shit happening back to back to back to back to back. You understand me? So look, this wasn't even in the story. This nigga bought a whip from my cousin for like 350 a nice ass cutlass. You feel me? Back when niggas was getting bread, you sell your car for like nigga a little bit of nothing or whatever. And that bitch run fast and everything. V8 that bitch and everything. So my little brother buy this bitch, right? He buy this bitch, right? This nigga riding, you know, no license or whatever. He like 15, riding around and shit or whatever. Why this nigga playing the cool game again? You know how niggas used to jump out? and use the pay phone to leave the door open with the sounds beating while they on the phone talking to whoever they want or whatever. And sometimes a lot of niggas turn their back while they be on the phone like they them niggas. That's how the dope game used to be. You used to watch what other niggas do and then you do it. Just like niggas do it now, blogging and all that. So this nigga on the phone, somebody jump in the whip and pull off. <laughs> the first day he got it. The first day he got it, man. Ain't this nigga, uh, man, look. Rapidly behind each other, man. Rapidly behind each other, man. This is what the fuck going on, man. This is what the fuck going on, man. Okay, look. This the last part right here. This the last part. It's like, um, you know, we rap. We call, um, what we call right now? We call loose cannons, right? So it's me, my brother. I'm from New York. My sister from New York. My brother ain't from New York, you understand me? From Cleveland. So, we about to go down in New York and see what's popping with the music or whatever and visit my folks. They ain't seen us in years, years, you feel me? So we drive down there. We got like, we go buy a 20 sack of bud from the scatless nigga in the hood. This nigga scatless as fuck, I got stories. But look, we, we pull up on that nigga like, and a couple other hood niggas, but they are niggas. And I'm like, hey, let me get an on 20 sack. We about to ride out to New York, nigga, and see if we can get on and see what's going on out there when I'm hollering at my folks. They like, what? Man, put that $20 back in your pocket. He like, follow me. 
we a little nervous. Like, man, follow you where, my nigga? You feel me? We, we know we are, nigga, but it's just, you, this nigga right here, man, is one of them niggas that done shit that you can't really trust. You understand me? So we follow the nigga. We talking in the car like nigga, you, you know what I'm saying? So we, he pull up, boom, he give us the ounce like nigga. Bless us like nigga, I hope nigga shit go right nigga. Such and such, such and such. I'm like, damn, you feel me? You know how scatless niggas be doing real shit. And then when they broke and fucked up, they do scatless shit. That's one of them niggas. So look, we, um, we going to New York. We blowing the whole onion on that bitch. And we, we damn near them blew the whole onion on that bitch, on, on that ride, right? So we switch drivers or whatever. Boom, 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 boom. Everybody driving. We get to that bitch, right? So we on motherfucking the highway, right? It started raining. It's daytime. Now look, we with my cousin. We gotta go down there to get my cousin shit. The real reason is. The real reason for us going down there is we brought up this other shit ourselves. Like, since we going down there, we might as well try to fuck with some music and see what's going on. So, my cousin is running. He on the run. He back in Cleveland because he done shot a nigga with a 12 gauge and he don't know if the nigga dead or not. And they know they looking for this nigga. So, he got to go back from Cleveland to get his shit from up, 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 in, um, up in New York. So we take the ride with him. He got a brand new 9.8. You know what I'm saying? Because he get money. So he a 5 percenter. You know, with the all the jury or whatever. You know how the niggas used to be. And um, so we driving up to New York. We on the highway. Now, remember when I say this nigga got a fake name and everything. Because he even came to Cleveland. He got fake everything. So while we on the highway, we smoking the bud or whatever. We, we probably ain't even blowing the bud right now. Because it's like, you know, niggas that been asleep or whatever. So, it's raining. Not raining hard, but raining. I tell my man, is driving my cousin. I say, hey, look. Turn the lights on. He's like, what? I'm like, bro, when it's raining, you're supposed to turn the lights on. You feel me? Because I'm always the nigga that's thinking. You feel me? I'm telling you, I am the nigga that's always thinking. So, we uh, we driving. He's like, man, we good. I'm like, bruh, I got the weed on me or whatever. Turn the lights motherfucking on, my nigga. So, this nigga decided to turn the lights on when he, I felt like, got ready. I looked through the rear view. No, he looked through the rear view. He said, hey, man, I think Howard the Patrol is trying to catch up with us. So why you say that? He said, because these niggas like trying like they trying to like get through the cars or whatever. Why when he said that, I look, I look, you know, through the, through the um through the rear view, because I was on the passenger side. They was right there. Pulled us right the fuck over. And it was like, you know why we pulled you over? And my cousin was like, no. And my cousin lightweight was like not like not nice or whatever. And I'm like, nigga, you got a warrant, nigga. You don't even know if a nigga dead or not or whatever. So he like, your lights was off. You're supposed to have your lights on when it's raining. Let me see your uh, lights and insurance or whatever. And he seen, uh, he like, we was like young and or whatever. And we had the, um, the we had the U-Haul fire. You know, matter of fact, no, no, we ain't had a U-Haul yet. We, we, he just seen how we was deep up in that motherfucker and people would sleep or whatever. Told him we was going to New York or whatever. And boom, the, the fake ID went through because the nigga ran that shit. And we was on our way. That was one incident. I was like, my nigga, I told you. He was like, yeah, you was right. And I'm younger than a nigga, so he probably was like, man, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So look, we make it to New York. So um, we about to leave New York. We got the we got his stuff in the U-Haul or whatever. We about to leave New York. It was just a come and go thing, right? Um, this is when the Spurs was playing the motherfucking um. The Knicks in the, in the um, championship that year. So, why when we about to pull off? It's a little Porsche, a Porsche like one of them small Porsches, classic Porsches behind the U-Haul. While my cousin was bagging the U-Haul up, and you know the hitch thing, go right inside the motherfucking hood of the Porsche and tear a big hole in it, cause you know the the Porsche go like this and slant. So that bitch went right into the hood and tore a big ass hole in that bitch. We hurried up and pulled the fuck out that bitch, laughing like a motherfucker, right? So now it's about to, we left like it's seven, so it's starting to get dark. And I told niggas not leave, let's not leave then. Um, Cause niggas will be sleepy. 
So we ain't got no bud. We tried to find bud everywhere. It's hard to find bud in New York. So when, when you really want it. So when we bouncing, we ain't got no bud. My little brother driving first. So he like, man, I need to smoke something, man. I just can't drive like this and I ain't got nothing to smoke. So he buy a black and mild, a box of black and miles. I say, my nigga, don't smoke no black and miles because black and miles will make you crash, like crash to sleep. Like you'll start getting sleepy. It ain't like weed. See, weed to keep you amped up, music and all that. So why won't we get damn near only like, um, maybe like, I don't know. 45 minutes into the ride. You know, when you be on the road, when it be real, real dark, and it be rocks on the side, and then a rail or whatever, but it, I'm talking about when you be on the road, it be real dark, and just see the white strips in the, in the ground, you know, street lights, really? We was on that. Why when we like dozing off, the motherfucking car scraped the rail? Everybody woke up like, what the fuck? And my little brother must have dozed off, right? Because... The nigga said that the rocks made the car slide over. Like he said, when he was driving, the rocks pulled him over into the rail. We pulled over the car. My cousin shit was fucked up on the side of the door. He was salty, and it knocked the um, it knocked the mirror off the side. He was salty than a motherfucker, right? And I'm saying to myself, damn, I might be the karma from that nigga. Um, you know what I'm saying? From hitting that motherfucking Porsche. So. My little brother driving again because see my cousin ain't in the car. He in the motherfucking U-Haul. You feel me? Driving in the U-Haul. So we driving again or whatever. He like, I'm alright, it wasn't that I ain't fall asleep or whatever. So we driving again, right? Now we halfway home. I didn't I was lightweight sick. I threw this motherfucking sheet over my head and was in the back seat sleep. Now it's my little sister in the front and my um brother driving in the in the front. So, why I wake up to the car out of control going, look, listen, y'all, this is no bullshit. This ain't no exaggeration. You know how in the movie, when the car coming off the cliff and it's like, like the, the front wheel is off the cliff and then half the car is off the cliff, but the back with the stair, with the, but the back is still on the concrete. About to tilt over, my sister woke up in a split second and yanked the wheel while my brother was still asleep. The car, like, was tilting, but it rolled back over. Like when she grabbed the wheel, he hit the, he hit the, he must have woke up and hit the gas, and it came back on the road, and he was, and the car was just going all out of control. Now it's a mountain on this side, and then it's a cliff on this side with no rail, so. Why wouldn't the car going all out of uh, control or whatever? Good thing that this nigga know how to drive and he used to drive fiend cars because he was whipping that bitch to the fullest. He got that bitch right, nigga. Oh, cause we was about to hit that bridge. Cause you know it's a bridge on the side or whatever, rocks. So we would have been fucked up how fast the car was going. Why wouldn't he got this bitch in control? I look behind us. It was traffic that was behind us, all at a pause. Like half a mile back, all at a pause that just stopped, was watching what the fuck was going on with this car. Almost seen a, a, a death occur. I know they probably was like, what the fuck? I know, I wonder, the peop I wonder who the people was that seen that shit. Cause that shit was crazy, man. That shit was crazy, so look. I take the sh I, I I start laughing. My little brother crying. I'm like, what the fuck you crying for? And my sister crying. You feel me? He's like, I almost killed us or whatever. Now I was sick, so I had to drive the the west uh, the rest of the way back, right? So while I'm driving, we damn near home. We in Ohio. Now, like in Painesville and shit, they got the motherfucking uh, traffic lights. They be hanging like off a rope, so you can't really see because I'm behind a motherfucking um, a U-Haul because we following the car. We following this U-Haul. So why, when he get to a light, this nigga stop real fast? And what's so crazy is this nigga car be putting. So when you hit the gas, it might put before it go, man. I hit right into the back of that nigga uh, motherfucking uh, U-Haul and the motherfucking lich thing fucked up the front of that nigga on uh, grill. The nigga was so salty, man. He ain't even saying that. He just got back in the motherfucking truck 
and, and, and pulled off and we followed that nigga all the way home. And every motherfucking day that nigga was calling the house like, where that money at? Cause I was like, bro, I'ma pay you for that shit. That shit was fucked up. But I told the nigga why it happened. He didn't really want to hear that shit, but he couldn't fuck with me though or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He was, you know, you, you know, from, from New York, nigga. You ain't nothing about to pop off. But that shit was crazy because of my brother, man. I know this story might not have been like the other ones, but my little brother almost killed us multiple times, man. Multiple times, man. Drama House A Game Entertainment, you already know. Battle Raps Old Head, Coon Gang, bringing you the latest on the suckers and the sucker shit that's going on. It's really good. Cheers. <laughs>